Right, come on, we need to start questioning him. We, uh, <laughs> he's a sneaky little bastard. By the way, just so you know, if people are um, pushing me in the right direction as to what to choose and where to go, I embrace that. If someone tells me directly, no, this is wrong and, you know, you should do this, uh, unfortunately, I can't read your comment, right? Just saying. Right, so, with that out of the way, let's ask him what you know about biodev imaging. What do you know about biodev imaging? Bidev, that's a biological engineering company, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes it is, well done you. They specialize in body parts like artificial hearts and lungs and such. So do we live in a world where this is possible? But lately they've expanded their research, okay, to try to grow replacement organs from living cells. All right, so this is stuff that exists in the real world, we know about this. Wow, you sure know a lot. Oh no, I just happen to know about them because they're a big deal at my school. Right, what school do you go to? A medical school. If it's not a medical school, I'm going to fucking slap you. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of threat that is, but you're getting slapped, son, alright? They've funded a good portion of the biomedical engineering program there, so their name is all over the place. Um, right, I'll give them that then. Right, let's end the conversation. That's all for now. You can uh, fucking go back and speak to whoever the fuck it is. Have I already spoken to everyone? <clears throat> I haven't. What do you know about biodev imaging? What was that loud crash earlier? Let's ask that. Just those two kids dropping a pile of dishes all over the floor. That's going to have some sort of role to play, I swear. Honestly, it gave me such a fright, I thought my heart was about to leap out of my chest. It's a miracle that no one was hurt. I noticed that boy pushed the girl out of the way just in time. He has some quick reflexes. <gasps> He's a master assassin. Probably. Probably not. He goes to medical school, for fuck's sake. What do you know about biodev imaging? Plenty, seeing as I work there. We're a medical group that creates artificial organs. Creates or researches? Ah, uh, okay, so they actually do shit. Okay, so they're in a world where this is possible. Gotcha. There's a huge demand for organ implants, but there are very few available donors, and compatibility is always an issue. Ah, oh, so they're actually speaking about the current donor system they've got, not randomly creating organs like I thought. <laughs> Oh dear. <clears throat> I wonder if I just completely misunderstood that to begin with. Oh, well, we make things like artificial lungs and bionic hearts. Wow, that's pretty impressive. It's more than impressive, we're saving lives. Maybe you killed her because you wanted her heart. It's probably not fucking that. It's far-fetched. Alright, end conversation. That's all I need for now. Uh, let's talk to Chance. Have we done enough? Yes, alright, let's do that. What was that loud crash earlier? Oh, that, I just dropped some dishes. I was cleaning up and that guy Kizuki offered to help. When I handed him a tray loaded of dishes, I let go before he had a good grip on it, so I fell. Don't worry, nothing broke. <clears throat> Although it's weird. I really thought he had a grip on that tray, but it slipped anyway. It's almost like he did it on purpose. <gasps> Don't go throwing accusations like that around. Are you crazy? Alright, although he's been acting pretty strange all day. Now that I think about it, I think he was watching that woman when she first came in. As soon as she came in, he kept staring at her. At first, I thought he was just being a teenage guy and staring at women. <laughs> oh, damn. <clears throat> I think she'd know about that. But looking back on it, it seems like he was observing her. Do you think I should have reported him? No, it's not a crime to look at another person, but it is one to... Stare? Stare? Hmm... It's still suspicious. I wouldn't worry about it too much. And by that, I mean I'm going to go there and uh, take the credit for that. Besides, didn't you say that the murderer has probably run away by now? That's right. I guess I'm overthinking this. Thanks. And let's... What do you know about biodev imaging? What do you know about biodev imaging? I think they have something to do with medical stuff, but I'm not sure. Why am I not surprised that she knows absolutely bugger all? Alright, I don't want to you know, incite stereotypes, but... Alright, uh, let's talk to Kizuki, shall we? <clears throat> uh, Alright, so we can't ask him about anything more. If we examine the room, does anything happen? No, nope. okay, so we just know that he was right. So that doesn't really help a lot. Oh! Hey, detective, I heard you were asking around about someone named Sarah Blackmore. I certainly was. She's the victim, isn't she? I did some research, and it looks like she has an interesting story. In fact, I think I know why she was killed. The rumours among various sources say that she's a corporate spy. She steals and sells top secret information. There are a lot of big name companies after her for what she's done. Her last job 
was at Wharton Engineering, a company that specializes in growing organs from living cells. <coughs> hmm. I see a little bit of compatibility here. <coughs> oh dear. Organs for living cells? Isn't that what biodev imaging is working on? Uh-oh, I see a pattern. She resigned recently, saying she was pursuing a new direction in her life. But I'm guessing it's only because she obtained whatever information she was looking for. But as a lowly secretary, what else is she going to know? So, Miss Bergstrom clearly knows that something happened. Because she seemed evasive when I brought it up. Ah, it's starting to fit now. It's all starting to fit. If she was supposed to meet up with someone to hand over information, she would have it with her, probably on a secure USB. It's likely to be disguised as something else that she can always keep on her person, like a keychain. If you can find it, you'll probably have your murderer. <clears throat> I guess I'll have to keep an eye out for something that looks like a disguised USB drive. Like, that'll be easy. Just look for any sort of jewellery. I can't help but feel uneasy about this, though. My mysterious information source is being very generous. Somehow, I don't think this person is just doling out the information for free. There must be an ulterior motive. Mm, I would somehow agree with you. Examine. You never know. Let's move into the men's restroom. And let's examine again. No. Alright, so nothing there. Let's try and move into hang on save yes i would like to save let's try and move into the ladies restroom no all right, I'll, all right it's always worth a go <clears throat> right then let's talk to you detective Gesky. hello i found a lot of duct tape in the garbage can in the men's restroom and does he does he see that no he hasn't seen that you're a shit detective holy fuck duct tape yeah a whole bunch of it like someone used it and dumped it there Hmm, perhaps the killer used it to restrain Sarah. And it's covered with blood as well. I think Sarah is a corporate spy? Saying that is a bit fucking weird. Charles says that Kizuki was watching Sarah. Watching her? Like a stalker or something? I guess. I wonder why she didn't mention this before. Because she didn't know? She, she said she just remembered. Interesting. If he was watching her, then he probably knows something. But since he came here first, he probably have must have been expecting her to come here. Well, she comes here every day. We, we know that much. That means she definitely did come here to meet someone. Try to find out how he knows about that. <clears throat> and how will I figure that out? <clears throat> Why don't you just ask him? Really? I get the feeling we'll get something interesting if you ask. That's an evil answer if ever there was one. All right, should I tell him that I think Sarah's a corporate spy? <clears throat> Fuck it, let's do it. Really? What makes you think that? Just a hunch. I did some research on her. <laughs> All right, so just a hunch. A hunch? You're going to have to do better than that. Please don't bring me any more wild theories without some proof to back them up. I take a deep breath. Fine, I did some research on her. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I borrowed Kizuki's computer and looked her up online. That is the most fucking suspicious way of saying that. Oh dear. And? She used to work at Orton Engineering, a company that specialised in growing organs from cells. And Biodev Imaging is currently trying to expand to do the same thing. She just resigned from Orton Engineering, and now she's working for Biodev Imaging? <clears throat> hmm. That seems... <laughs> How would you find that online? Because I'm going to assume that <clears throat> question mark, question mark, question mark doesn't know about websites where you can look this up. Hmm, I had a bit, a bit scary. You yourself said she was a secretary. So clearly she's not working for these companies because she has a specific skill set needed for this line of work. She's probably after something that Biodev Imaging has. That's one possibility. One possibility? The key here is to figure out who she's working for. For instance, she could have been working for Biodev Imaging by stealing information from Orton Engineering. Well, well done. I see why you're a detective. If it's like that, then this could be a move for Biotin Engineering to retrieve information before it winds up with Biodev Imaging. Or, conversely, she could have been working for Orton Engineering stealing information from Biodev Imaging. We don't know which one it is. But what we do know is that Miss Bergstrom is almost definitely going to know. In that case, anyone from Biodev Imaging now becomes a primary suspect. 
Of course, that doesn't rule out other motives, but this seems like the most logical one. Corporations like this are cutthroat at best. It's always a race to see who can get the results the fastest so they can get a larger market share or government grants. Right. Again, you see, that, that, that's quite an in-depth explanation off the top of your head. I'm suspecting you, sir. Mwah. Rather than work together, they do whatever it takes to get ahead of the competition. <clears throat> and when they can't be vindicated through lawsuits and manipulations of the laws, they'll resort to darker practices. Well, yeah, it's all about who earns the most money. That's how rich people work. <laughs> Looks like it's time to learn more about Orton Engineering. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I would agree. I don't have any more I can tell you. If we examine the room... No, we're just going to have to brute it through certain bits. Right, main area. Let's talk to everyone other. Oh, asking Kisakis is going to be the most terrible idea <clears throat> ever. Let's do this. We already know that he's a bit of a shit liar, so if we ask him outright, I don't think he's going to be able to lie very well. So, uh, why were you following Sarah around? What? I wasn't following her. We just happened to come in here at the same time. Strange. When I mentioned her name earlier, you didn't even know who she was. Uh, looks like you've got him cornered. Should I keep pushing or play nice? If you tell me what happened, maybe I can help you. Let's play nice. If you tell me what happened, maybe I can help you. I'm really not allowed to talk about it. Why can't you talk about Sarah? Kizuki glances around the room before he speaks. It's not safe. I'm probably already in trouble for just telling you that much. He leans in and lowers his voice. Please be careful. If you think I'm going to let it end with just that, you're wrong. In case you haven't noticed, someone is dead and you might have the information that can help us figure out who the killer is. I'm not going to accept some ridiculous answer like, I can't talk about it right now. Yeah, that's a good firm stance to take. But I... No excuses. I grab Kizuki by the collar of his shirt and drag him into the side hallway. I was playing nice, wasn't I? <clears throat> well, what are you two doing? The bathroom. I glare at Kizuki and he nods in agreement. Yeah, yeah, just going to the bathroom. You're going in a pair? I thought only women did that sort of thing. He's going to be listening. Just let us go. <laughs> Ouch. Fine, go ahead. Just don't do anything stupid. I don't have enough handcuffs for everyone. Warning duly noted. I open the door to the bathroom and Kizuki follows me in timidly. I'm, I'm not allowed. Not allowed? Someone is dead, Kizuki. Do you not comprehend this? <laughs> comprehend? What odd word to use in this situation. I don't care if you have some embarrassing secret or you just made a promise or it's a matter of pride or anything stupid like that. All I care about is figuring who killed this woman. So man up and just tell me what you know. Are you going to talk or not? Kizuki stares down at his hands before letting out a long sigh. A sigh is good, because that means they're about to tell you. Orton Engineering. What about them? They're my current employer. Current? I work for an agency that specialises in information investigation. <laughs> I suppose you could call us private investigators. Yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised. Sarah Blackmore recently stole some insensitive information and important data from Orton Engineering. We were hired to retrieve it and find out who was buying it from her in the first place. We figured the drop point would be here, so I came here ahead of time to watch the handoff. At first, I thought you were supposed to be her contact, so I didn't want to tell you anything. Does Detective Gursky know about this? Does he fuck? I think he has a rough idea. Our agency has had dealings with the police before. Oh, good. So he knows about this. Oh, dear. I think I'm going to be killed eventually for knowing too much. I don't think he approves of our efforts very much, though. Methods? All right, well... When he said, ask him, I think you'll be surprised by what he answers with, that suddenly makes sense. We may or may not use techniques branded as unscrupulous. What a weird fucking word to use again. Specifically, concerning the manner in which we retrieve certain information from various electronic sources. So you're hackers. <laughs> yeah. What? No, no, of course not. What are you then? Well, I'm not at least. Okay. <laughs> so you are. I'm the footwork guy. I do a lot of the physical investigation, like coming here today. And you need to look like a bit of a nerd to blend in like a college student. I suppose your agency is, re is really in a state of panic right now, huh? Yeah, we're really scrambling right now. Even though Sarah's dead, we still don't know who she was selling to, or where the USB drive holding the information is. Okay, so we know it's there. Seems like everyone's after that USB drive. I wonder what she stole. I wonder if the detective has it on him. That would be my guess. The detective already has it. Oh, well, it must be a pretty big deal for people who want it so this badly. Um, can I go now? What? 
I really should get back. People might get st start getting suspicious otherwise. We're two men who walked into a bathroom together. People are already suspicious. Oh, Lord. Sure, you can go. Thanks. Wow, what an odd kid. He seems much too polite and awkward for this line of work. Then again, I suppose his awkwardness makes him seem less suspicious. I wonder how he even got roped into doing stuff like this in the first place. It doesn't seem like something he'd randomly volunteer for. Well, very good money. Basically, very, very good money. Alright, so nothing if we examine the room. Let's go back into the hallway. Let's speak to Detective Gursky. <clears throat> I can't say anything. Okay, brilliant. Alright, and let's go to the main area, shall we? Hey, can we talk about something for a bit? Oh, don't tell me you're in this is too. You're supposed to be the clump... The Clum? The clumsy dumb one. Sure, what's up? Well, I don't really know if it's my place to say it, but I think I know who the killer is. <laughs> I think she's a lot more intelligent than she's letting on. She's just being deliberately stupid. You do? I've been thinking about what happened, you see, and there's something we missed. We keep thinking that there has to be someone here, but what if it's none of us? What do you mean? Well, even though I got here before 2 o'clock, what if the killer got here before me? He could be hiding in the bathroom and I'd never know it. There's an exit door in the men's room. He could have used that to escape after he killed that woman. Are you sure? It means... Well, that's not actually a bad thought, but at the same time, it seems a little far-fetched that the killer is just a random person who hid in the bathroom. I'm stretching towards Detective Gursky. Because there's always supposed to be some sort of twist in these things. But my original hunch was Miss Bergstrom, and I never say deviate from... Your original hunch. Alright, okay. At this point, I'm fucking confused.